Did you know that people with Down syndrome have loose joints and low motion pain? That was my doctor's first clue that I had Down syndrome when I was born. Most babies hold their arms and legs tight in a fetal position like this. But I was just floppy like this. Most of the time I love my loose joints because it lets me do things like this. But having loose joints in your spine is not so great. When I was about five, they x-rayed my neck. And they said I didn't have atlantoaxial instability. That's a gap between C1 and C2 vertebrae that a lot of people with Down syndrome have. Because I didn't have it, I was allowed to do gymnastics, dive, and do the butterfly stroke. The butterfly was my best stroke and my favorite. A few years ago, I changed doctors, and he said I needed to x-ray again. My mom and my previous doctors all thought I didn't have it as a kid, then I just don't have it ever. They were wrong. Turns out I got it later. I was sad because I couldn't do gymnastics, dive into a pool, or swim the butterfly anymore. A few months ago, I started having symptoms. My fingers got numb and I feel I had electric sh shock in my whole entire body when I sneeze or tense up when I open a heavy door or when I got knocked over by a wave in the ocean and had to be carried out of the water. The gap between my C1 and C2 vertebrae got bigger and pushed my spinal cord. My alantoaxial instability is now called alantoaxial subluxation, which means dislocation. It's very dangerous because if I move wrong, I could become paralyzed or die. Now I have to have surgery to fuse my C1 and C2 vertebrae together to keep me safe. My surgery is going to be this Friday on August 5th. I'm scared. It's gonna hurt a lot. And I will have to wear a neck brace all the time for six weeks. What's me like? I've bunch of videos so we can stay in touch during my recovery. Don't forget me.